Thanks for watching at CrushTheStreet.com. Welcome to our new format, Weekend Market Wrap-Up. Now exactly three months after its initial public offering on May 18th, Facebook has hit an all-time low of $19.05, down over 4% on Friday alone. This is approximately half of its original price. This drop occurred after a lockup period ended in which 271 million shares could previously not have been sold. Lockup will expire on many more shares in the next coming nine months. Now I can tell you Facebook will have several lockup expirations. The first is going to happen on August 16th where 10% of those shares outstanding are going to enter the entire market. That's when the CEO Mark Zuckerberg also, he will not be part of this level right here. I can tell you when he's going to come in, Zuck will be able to fully sell his shares on November 13th. At this point about 49% of those shares outstanding will enter that market. Completely opposite of Facebook's blunder, Apple has seen an all-time high of its stock reaching six. $648.11 by close on Friday. The previous high was $644 reached just last April. Investors are anticipating the iPhone 5 release next month, along with an iPad mini and even iPod Nano possibly. On to the good stuff. Last Sunday, the 12th, Crush the Street presented Boldface Group Inc., BLBK, and our watch list, which by Wednesday had experienced some major swings our subscribers should have been able to profit on. This came after our previous August 8th note to watch out for a pullback in IDEO Security Inc., IDOI, which fell 17% after our mention. Thursday, we announced VLNX, Vision Plasma Systems Inc., which saw a rise of 126%. Inevitably, the stock would crash on Friday just as fast as it rallied, reminding us how quick on our feet we must be on these trades. In summary, the overall U.S. market ended slightly up Friday, both the Dow and S&P 500 gaining 0.19%. For the week, the Dow was up half a percent, and the S&P almost 1%, and the Nasdaq was up 1.8%. Be on the lookout for Bernanke's next speech at Jackson Hole the end of this month. It will inevitably move markets one way or the other. This concludes our first weekend wrap-up. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to log on, and if you haven't yet, subscribe at CrushTheStreet.com. For more unconventional ideas, please visit CrushTheStreet.com.